Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to talk about nonverbal observation. What is nonverbal observation? Observation is a skill that you can use in making art and uh, in understanding this reality and the phenomena in this reality in general and also understanding phenomena that is not happening exactly in this reality, like dreams for example. And nonverbal observation is a like skill that uh, is different to n the normal way that people are observing. Because uh, the normal way that people are observing is uh, more like linguistic. It happens in the l left side of the brain and it skews your like it skews your per perceptions because you have to put uh, the stuff you are observing in memory. Like you see something, then you say that this this like uh, this tree bends more than this tree. Then you put it in memory, and then you like know it. This is knowledge, but uh, nonverbal observation happens only through uh, seeing, and uh, it ha you of course you can uh, like verbalize uh, n verbalize the things you have observed nonverbally after the fact but you cannot do it at the same time, basically. And uh, through this skill, uh, you can uh, like start to understand, for example, like trees, like uh, the different properties of uh, trees. Like for example, like for, for example, what uh, trees like are growing fast and what trees are growing slower, what trees are like old and what trees are like younger, and what trees are uh, close to like the, like dehydration and what trees uh, have been hydrated like properly, and for uh, what trees get more, more not nutrients and what trees get less nutrients. You can uh, gain all this, all this uh, like information only through observing. You don't have to like do any so-called science to understand these things necessarily. You don't have to like touch this world in any way to get this understanding. And then uh, nonverbal observation can also mean uh, like mirroring the thing you are like trying to observe. For example, if you are trying to observe an animal, uh, like try to like act like this animal, or if you are trying to like understand what it me what it what it's like to be a, like a mad man then uh, like understanding what it's like to be mad you should uh, like uh, observe uh, mad people uh, like non-verbally because uh, we have all these kinds of labels for these things like this tree is called this thing and this this uh, this behavior is called this and, and we have put all these labels and we the labels are like too basic if you think about think about for example uh think about for example uh the phenomena of like no, of like being mad or or like or like dreams for example dreams are dreams dreams are also a label but if you think about uh, if you think about this are all dreams dream dreams are they all the same like can we put them all under the label of dreams and then there are these uh, waking experiences and uh, these are these are the waking ex these are the experiences that we have experienced while we are awake and then these are dreams can we label them or, or are they more complex or uh, are all of these uh, or all of these like trees are, are they all the same in the in the category of trees like you understand the human mind human mind all always like categorizes and labels things so it can uh, it can store knowledge of those things more easily but if the knowledge of those things is skewed 
by by the way you are observing then all your information about about these things is not really any of of any value you understand so that's nonverbal observation thanks for watching